Item Number SCP-5088 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures The building containing SCP-5088 is to be sealed off and kept under guard by security personnel at all times. Any individuals attempting to gain access are to be brought into custody, interrogated, and amnesticized as appropriate. Description SCP-5088 is an empty pool located in an abandoned Fitburn Health Club in Wigan, England. Although all forms of analysis confirm that no water is present within SCP-5088, objects placed within it will behave as if there is, floating or sinking to the bottom as is appropriate for each individual object. Similarly, individuals placed within SCP-5088 have demonstrated the ability to swim within it, as well as display difficulty breathing when submerged. Post-test interviews indicate that no physical sensation accompanies submergence within SCP-5088, only a change in the ease of movement while inside it. All attempts at removing the hypothetical liquid from SCP-5088 have failed, as it does not quantifiably exist outside of its effects on other objects. Addendum 5088-1 Experiment 1 In order to test the extent of SCP-5088's effects on living organisms, a subject, in this case a laboratory mouse bred for testing purposes, was placed into a small cage and lowered to the bottom of SCP-5088 to be kept there for a period of five minutes. The subject immediately became distressed when submerged in SCP-5088 and attempted to escape from its cage, but was unable. Subsequently, it was observed to hold its breath for a period of three minutes, following which it twitched numerous times and became inactive. At this time, observation of testing implants confirmed that the subject had expired due to suffocation. However, when removed from SCP-5088, the expired subject was observed to reanimate, with all vital signs returning to a neutral state. Following this, however, it did not respond to stimuli, and expired again several minutes later. Autopsy of the subject shows that the second cause of death was choking on its own tongue, which it had bitten off. Addendum 5088-2 Experiment 2 In order to discern whether SCP-5088 inherently possessed reanimation capabilities, or whether reanimation was a delayed response to the subject drowning in a liquid that did not exist, several already expired subjects were lowered into SCP-5088. No unusual results were observed. All subjects remained dead. Addendum 5088-3 Experiment 3 In order to further clarify SCP-5088's unusual effects following suffocation within it, human testing was approved. As in the original test, the subject, in this case D-22122, a 32-year-old woman with no history of suicidal tendencies, was placed within a cage and lowered into SCP-5088. Anesthesia was provided so as to discourage behavior which could jeopardize the integrity of the test. Once submerged in SCP-5088, subject was left until death by suffocation was confirmed via testing implants. It was then retrieved from SCP-5088. Upon leaving the bounds of SCP-5088, the subject immediately reanimated as in the previous test, then proceeded to scream hysterically and run towards the nearest wall despite the efforts of security and testing personnel to restrain it. It then began rapidly striking its head against said wall with great force, falling unconscious after five strikes. During this period, the subject was observed to repeat the words, It's waiting for me. It's all waiting for me back there. Despite the efforts of on-site medical personnel, the subject expired once more due to blunt force trauma, and the test was thus ended prematurely. Prior to expiration, subject was observed to smile. <laughs>